On Wednesday morning, a shooting took place at the Vladislav Rybnikar School in central Belgrade, resulting in the deaths of at least eight students and a security guard. Additionally, six pupils and a teacher were injured and taken to the hospital. The suspect, a 14-year-old student, was arrested at the scene and is alleged to have used his father's gun in the attack. An investigation into the motive behind the incident is currently underway. Dear viewers, Slant News TV is currently striving to attain its initial 1,000 subscribers. We appeal to you to wholeheartedly support us by subscribing to our channel. The police responded immediately to the shooting and arrested the suspected minor. The area around the school was cordoned off and officers in helmets and bulletproof vests were deployed. Despite these efforts, many parents were still unable to locate their children hours after the incident. The suspect was seen being led away from the scene by police, with his hands cuffed and his head covered by a jacket. Two 13-year-old boys and one girl who were shot have been transferred to a local hospital in Tersova. The boys are stable, having suffered gunshot wounds to their lower extremities, while the girl has a serious head injury and is undergoing surgery. Milan Milosevic, the father of one of the pupils at the school, reported that his daughter was in the class where the gun was fired and managed to escape. Mass shootings are rare in Serbia due to strict gun laws, but gun ownership in the country is among the highest in Europe. It was estimated in 2019 that there are 39. One firearms per 100 people in Serbia, making it the third highest in the world, behind the US and Montenegro. The Western Balkans are awash with hundreds of thousands of illegal weapons following wars and unrest in the 1990s. In previous incidents, Ljubiza Bogdanovic killed 14 people in the central village of Velika Ivanka in 2013, and Nikola Radosevelic killed nine and wounded five in the eastern village of Jabukovac in July 2007. The incident at the Vladislav Rybnikar school has shocked the nation, and officials have expressed their condolences to the families of the victims. Serbia's president, Aleksandr Vucic, visited the scene and called the attack a tragedy for the whole of Serbia. He also stated that the government would provide all necessary support to the victims and their families. The shooting has also sparked a debate about the effectiveness of Serbia's gun laws. While the country has strict regulations, the prevalence of illegal weapons remains a concern. Some have called for tighter restrictions on firearms, while others argue that this would only affect law-abiding citizens and do little to prevent criminals from obtaining guns. In conclusion, the shooting at the Vladislav Rybnikar School in Belgrade has resulted in the deaths of at least eight students and a security guard, and injured several others. The suspect, a 14-year-old student, has been arrested, and an investigation is underway. The incident has highlighted the issue of gun violence in Serbia, and officials are calling for measures to prevent such tragedies from occurring in the future.